I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. The video I recommend today is a video of Reese Darby doing stand-up. If you're a Flight of the Concords fan, you'll have heard of Reese Darby. He plays the character of Murray. And he's also been doing stand-up for many years. This video is of him performing in London in the year 2000. So some of the jokes are about him being from New Zealand, which is a country with a very small population. He talks about Rainbow's End, which is a theme park in New Zealand. I think it's the only one. He says, it's great, it's huge, imagine this room, and then he just stops. And the joke is that normally when you start a sentence like that, you're using the room you're in as a comparison, and so you'll finish with something like, it's about 10 times as big as this room. My favorite line in this performance is, take your shoes off, it's socks only. He's talking about a bouncy castle. Do you know what a bouncy castle is? In Wikipedia it says it's also called a whole lot of other things, like moon bounce, inflatable playground, astro jump, moonwalk, bounce house, spacewalk, inflatable castle, jumping castle. In the Acadia report today, I wanted to tell you about a project that started at Acadia University in September last year. It's called the Acadia Farm, and basically some students started a farm to grow vegetables to sell to the university cafeteria so that students could eat organic vegetables and learn about organic farming. I think it's a really good idea. And if you're interested and want to find out more, you can watch a video about it on the Acadia channel, and you can also check out their site. Kia ora, in Stick News today, Facebook announced it would revert back to its old policy on user information after thousands of people complained. Facebook has more than 175 million active users worldwide. According to Wikipedia, it's the most popular social networking site in several English-speaking countries, including Canada and the United Kingdom. Recently, Facebook changed its terms of use policy. CNN reported that the company deleted a sentence from the old terms of use, which said Facebook could not claim any rights to original content that a user uploaded once the user closed his or her account. They replaced it with this sentence. You may remove your user content from the site at any time. However, you acknowledge that the company may retain archived copies of your user content. Thousands of members were not happy about the new rules and cancelled their accounts or created online petitions. Apparently, more than 64,000 people joined a group called The People Against the New Terms of Service. Facebook has now decided to revert back to the old terms of use. And that was Stick News for Thursday the 19th of February. Kia ora. In Germany in the Alps, like where I'm from, we've got middle mountains. It's like 1,000 1, meters high, but it's not as great for snowboarding. So usually we drive to the Alps, which is like six hours driving. The yeah. Alps is like a little bit like New Zealand. It's more stony, it's heaps higher. The resorts are bigger, but here it's more powder and it's really nice with the trees. I never had that before in my life, so it's really nice. From what I experienced when I came first, I was amazed because I never had so much snow in my life before because the season, last season I did in New Zealand, it was pretty bad. <laughs> and even in Germany in the Alps, we don't have that much powder. And with the trees, it's absolutely amazing. Like I find it really, really good, but now it's a bit icy and, and windy and rainy, it's not so good. But I'm still, it's, I'm still really happy to be here, mm. to enjoy the snow. Today's word is odd. One of the funny lines that Reese says is, I take home the odd girl. Odd is an adjective which means occasional. For example, we go out for the odd meal together. So when most people hear this sentence, they would think it means 
Occasionally I take home a girl, but odd also means strange. Nice t-shirt. Where did you get it? You won it. How? I didn't know you were a photographer. What does it say? Thanks. Uh, I won it actually. Yeah. In a photography competition. Oh, I'm not. Not at all. It wasn't really a photography competition actually. It was more like a, a draw. You just had to send in a photo of a car covered in snow. It says Car Dunchy. It's for a snowboarding DVD. Return to a previous state, condition, etc. A. Acknowledge. B. Policy. C. Retain. D. Revert. E. User. Revert. A person or thing that uses something. User. A course or principle of action adopted or proposed by an organization or individual. Policy. To keep something. Retain. Accept or admit the existence or truth of. Acknowledge. And that was the Daily Englisher. See you tomorrow. Bye.